welcome student today we are going to test whether distilled water that is the pure water contact electricity yes or no so for that we are making a very simple circuit this is the instrument voltmeter okay this is the voltmeter and you can see the maximum limit of this voltmeter is 5 volt these are the two electric cell 1.5 volt each now they are in combination so we called it as battery and now it is of 3 volt and this is a laboratory switch it is not the switch we use in the switch board so when we put this switch and join the block then the switch is on position we called it as closed circuit and we when we take the switch out then it is in off condition the open circuit now look carefully i connect these two ends and look whether the voltmeter deflected and what is the reading now you can see the reading it is approximate 3 volt so my circuit is okay now we have to take the distilled water so i take a beaker uh, but <coughs> in beaker we have to pour the distilled water this is can of distilled water easily available very easily available in the market you can purchase it it will cost approximate 20 to 50 rupees so as the beaker i previously was with the tap water so first we have to wash it with the distilled water and i do not know the result whether distilled water actually contact electricity yes or not because the distilled water may be really distilled water or it it may be impure so let also test this brand so i pour the distilled water then i wash it i will not use it i simply wash the beaker okay Then now I am taking the distilled water for this fermentation. Okay. Now we can perform the experiment in two ways. First of all, I can simply drop these two ends into the water. i can do in that fashion that you should do in your home also in that way one color of one word is blue another is red let's see whether any fluctuation you should be careful this wire should not touch to each other so let's see whether there is any fluctuation in the voltmeter yes or no no the voltmeter though the voltmeter do not show any value but you can observe there is a little bit fluctuation a little bit fluctuation that means the distilled water is not 100% pure distilled water it means okay let do the same practical with tap water with tap water so this is tap water the same experiment with tap water now observe i do not mix anything with this tap water it is simply tap water we get in the laboratory now you see the voltmeter fluctuates that means this water conduct electricity now you can also read uh, it is approximate um, 0.5 0.5 volt okay now we perform another experiment we mix alkali to this distilled water for that purpose i am taking the sodium hydroxide pellets that means when i mix it it will become sodium hydroxide and you know sodium hydroxide is a very strong base these are the sodium hydroxide pellets i simply put this sodium hydroxide pellets 
then i have to stir it preferably with a glass rod but instead of glass rod i can also use this dropper it is already dissolved though we can see okay it is dissolved and i have to keep that glass dropper separately because i have to wash this glass dropper i have to wash this glass dropper now the same experiment the same experiment the wires should not touch to each other now let's see the reading previously the distilled water a little glitch fluctuation we observe now see uh, one volt one volt a little bit fluctuation to one volt so from that experiment what we observe we can conclude that this distilled water is soluble soluble means it is okay for junior level uh, it is slightly conduct the electricity very little even the voltmeter uh, do not respond 0.1 volt even uh, and the tap water it show the fluctuation also and when we mix the sodium hydroxide in the water sodium hydroxide pellets then it show the one volt uh, sir is there any relation between the dissolving the sodium hydroxide pellets in the water let's see now i start the solution again with the drop and i also put more sodium hydroxide pellets not very really more another three another three pellets these are known as sodium hydroxide pellets Okay, let's try it. I'm using the back side of that topper. The quantity of water is the same. Now we know we read that the solution fast it will be saturated. Now I can see the pellets that are dissolving in water. the switch the circuit is now open not close no now we can conclude that there is more sodium hydroxide in solution so let's see whether there is any <coughs> difference in the reading let's see previously it was 1 volt now you can see it is not 1 volt 1.2 approximate 1.1 or 1.2 so the more is the concentration <coughs> they will carry more electricity 